North Dakota is a great place to fly a kite, but have you ever seen one like this? Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tom Gerhardt. Lauren is off tonight. Whether it's a big festival at Fort Stevenson on the Missouri River or a family in the park, it's not an odd sight to see a kite, but what you're about to see is. Two Grand Forks men are making their way across the state using the wind as power. Perry Olson shows you how it works and what message they hope to spread. With the wind energy in North Dakota, we're number one. I mean, why, why are we number one in production? This group, calling themselves to cross the moon, is trying to change that by doing something called snow kiting across the state. Obviously, this group is not suggesting people start traveling this way, but they are using the experience to show the power blowing in the wind. I think sometimes it takes something extreme like this to do this. You know, we can go out and preach wind power, but obviously we've been able to because we're doing this kind of crazy thing. Well, we really just wanted to pay more attention uh, to this wonderful uh, resource that's blowing right now, which I'm sure you can hear in the mic, is the wind. And uh, so we're really doing this just to reach the youth, reach everybody. You know, it's kind of a unique thing to see. These travelers have taken notice of and had to deal with obstacles traveling this way. Kiting through society or like an agriculturally developed area has been really, really difficult. We're dealing with a lot of uh, barbed wire fences, uh, power lines, as you can see behind me, and the fence. Uh, so once we hit the, the river, it's going to be uh, hopefully a lot smoother sailing. While the main goal of this cross-state adventure is to bring attention to the possibilities with wind, there is another goal as well. Show young people that there's this exciting new sport and North Dakota is like the premier, really, the premier spot for it. I mean, we've been, you know, kiting 20 miles an hour, and this is just in the ditch on the side of the road. So you get a nice field, and you can just play all day. Watching this group play, it's easy to believe snow kiting might just take off, helping advance their message every step of the way. Perry Olson, KX News. Sally and Magnus say there have been a few tense moments during the trip, especially when a truck passes by. The wind the trucks generate grabs the kites and brings them dangerously close to the riders sometimes. They hope to finish their cross-state trip at the South Dakota border by the 14th.